Ancient Seer speaks of a place where the sun once cast its golden hues upon the land. Memories of the city of lions, which sits under Kagan's protection. The walls, weathered and fading, bears the vestiges of symbols reflecting the experiences of the Koi kingdom. Still, vibrating with the spirit of the land, now slowly obscured by the relentless passage of time. Once, at the heart of the city, a lively Mbiza unfolded with the rhythmic beats of the Ngoma drums, laughter of children, and vibrant Namakolan patterned textiles. Now, that heart beats faintly in a collective memory, a melancholic echo of the vibrant marketplace where indigenous herbs, seashells, and handcrafted beadwork were exchanged beneath the fading shade of the moko trees. The aroma of rebos, once rich in the air, is now a distant fragrance, lost in the recesses of nostalgia. The lion riders are but spectral figures against the backdrop of Table Mountain, adorned in garments inspired by the hues of Fainbos, their once purposeful patrols through the outskirts have become faded echoes, symbolizing the connection now blurred between humanity and the majestic lions. The ancient Moku trees, once witnessed to the communal gatherings, now stand in silent desolation. Storytellers, like distant spirits, once celebrated the exploits of lion riders and the wisdom of the Agamuka, even the celestial narratives guiding the agricultural cycles. The Koi click language, once vibrant thread, now weaves into the wind, a mournful reminder of what has been lost. The Aigamuka, guardians of hidden truths, move with graceful sorrow through the outskirts. Their rhythmic tapping of feet in soft sands is a poignant dance, not of cosmic insight, but in the lament for a time where their presence held significance. The ochre patterns and tribal the ochre patterns on tribal elders' eyes, now faded and cracked, speak of a twilight that has descended over the Namakolan flowers. In the heart of the city, the sacred mountain, Kagan, echoes not with the rhythmic dances and melodious sounds of the Hadi Bell, but with the mournful sighs of the forgotten.